Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianeanton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Hi everyone, Diane here, welcome to my studio. Hope everyone's well and happy and uh, ready to do a little bit of painting today. Um, today I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, uh, but I want to put together the uh, this paper, which I'm still trying out from Meaden, it's Bao Hong paper. Um, just to let you know, uh, Meaden have told me that they're going to be introducing different sizes of paper. They're going to be introducing one that's a little bit smaller. I think it's going to be 7 by 5 or something like that, and one that's bigger, so about twice this size, which will be nice, because then and they'll be in block form as far as I know, glued all round. It seems to be the popular thing at the moment. So that's going to be coming, but I have no idea when. It probably won't be for a while yet, but meanwhile... Um, this is to put to rest all the rumours and everything. I have it from the horse's mouth. This is the same as Bao Hong paper. Um, so Bao Hong has a reasonably good reputation as being a Chinese paper that's worth giving a try. Um, so I thought I would give that a try. Uh, and I'm going to put that together with my um, Kurtaki Art Nouveau paints because... I like the colours for flowers. If you don't have this set, don't worry, you can use any other paints and I don't have any affiliation with them. As opposed to this, we do get affiliate marketing um, revenue from them, but nothing from this. So, you know, I just talk about what things I actually like and I've been using Meaden things for a while and then they um, approached me and said, would would they like? Would I like to um, introduce their new products to a wider market? And you know, it's always good to share things that are good. I wouldn't talk about things that weren't good, in my opinion, for what that's worth. Um, what have I got here? I've got a sketch pad. Um, actually, this is an interesting sketch pad. This was something that um, Viviva gave me, and um, it's quite nice because it's for a start. It's made in India, which is lovely, and. I've never been to India, but I wouldn't mind going. And it's quite nice thick paper. I think you can get these on Amazon. I'm not sure. I haven't looked. But it's quite smooth, but it works reasonably well for watercolour sketches. And I've done something like this just now um, from these flowers, which I've got here. This is just a bunch of wildflowers from the hedge outside the house. Hopefully I'm not revealing anything uh, that I shouldn't reveal. <laughs> when I turn the camera around like this, I'm sure I'm not because um, there isn't anything in here that you shouldn't see. What does that mean anyway? I don't know. Uh, anyway, so I thought I would put that in front of me and do a little quick sketch in here. And so that's what I did. And I'm going to put that out of the way now. And then perhaps we'll try and do something similar on this paper, which is more textured. The, um, the Viviva sketch pad is quite smooth, so that would work quite well for... Um, pen work. This one is probably going to be better for watercolour. I don't know. So let's see. And oh, I'm going to sit down, take the weight off my feet. Uh, okay. Brushes. Um, you could use a Princeton Aqua Elite if you have such a creature in your stash. I like to use my draw well brushes which I get from Japan, which are synthetic rounds, and they're very uh, good. I like those a lot. They're not very expensive, cheaper than the Princeton ones, even when you pay shipping. If you buy a dozen, if you bought a dozen of these, uh, and even with the shipping, which I think is $30 to America, um, they work out. They're, they are, I've got a price list here, actually. Now we're talking about brushes, just a sec. This is the price list for the draw well brushes. I should have probably done this before. Um, and these are the prices that you pay. So for example, this one is a size eight and 11.2, that's the red one. 
All right, so that's uh, 11 2. It's, um, so size 7, like this, is uh, 197 for the brush. And this uh, model, which is number 778, is, uh, this is a size 8, and this is 268. The black ones are slightly more expensive because they're slightly superior, and they last a little bit longer. Um, but look at the prices. I mean, just, what have I got in my hand? Um, so you can afford to have, like I do, um, well, you might be able to, have a, a selection like that. I've put the black ones here and the red ones there. And uh, these are brushes I've accumulated over a period of time. Um, but if you were to order, let's say, 10, five of each, that would be costing you 10 brushes at $2, $2 each, roughly $20, even if you added $30 for shipping, that would be $50 and you'd have, uh, what did I say? 20, 10, 10 brushes, you know, I mean, do the math. It's not going to cost you a fortune and they are really good brushes. So that's that. And you can get this from Mr. Mayama and um, perhaps I'll put this on the website as well. So if you go over, if you're interested, um, I haven't done it yet, so don't rush there now. But um, if we're talking in the future, then I will have done it by now. And then you will be able to find it if you go to the website. But if you're looking at this on May the 11th, um, then I won't have done it yet. But I will do it. So I feel like we're in a time loop here. Anyway, at some point in the very near future to May the 11th, I will put this price list up on our website. I don't have any affiliation with my armor, nothing. I just think they're very good brushes and I know a lot of people have bought them and enjoyed them. So, uh, next. Oh, there are just so many things that I could say, but I'm not going to say any of them. Um, let's see, let's start with a um, number eight brush and I'm looking at these flowers and I'm going to try to paint them and talk at the same time. There are days when I don't talk very fluently. Um, probably a good idea when you're doing a painting of flowers or any painting really is to think about the central point. Um, and I have often made the mistake I'm not an expert, I just paint a lot, so um, it looks as if I am, but I'm not. Um, often I make a mistake and I don't put anything in the middle of the paper, and then I end up with a hole in the middle. Second thing is it's best not to think too much about what you're doing. So put something in the middle and then forget it, and just have fun. A lady said, on the comments yesterday uh, that she, uh, no, it wasn't in the comments. I think she was replying to somebody's post. They'd posted a, a painting, I think. I think she'd posted a painting that she'd done and uh, said that she hadn't had very much time recently for the painting. Um, and this other lady said, yes, I paint in front of the television and I have all my stuff in a drawer beside me and all I need is water, and off I go. And I think that's a great idea. And if you're sitting there watching the Rockford Files, you know, uh, who needs more than that? It's probably football or ice hockey or something, I expect. Oh, that, God, that used to drive me crazy in Canada. We've been talking about Canada a lot recently, um, my family and I, because... Tamsin's dad still lives in Canada, lives in Canada, and still live in Canada, lives in Canada now. Long story. Um, and what am I going to say? We're trying... <laughs> oh, yeah, this is funny. If anyone has any secrets on this one, please do let us know. We're trying to get passports. We are both Canadian citizens. Tamsin used to have a passport, it expired, and she forgot to get it renewed before it expired. I never have had one. And uh, we're trying to get a passport because we thought, you know, when my ex-husband uh, dies, we might want to go to his funeral. And at the moment, we can't because as 
Um, uh, dual citizens. We're, we're citizens of England, of course, because we're British. Uh, we're not allowed to travel to Canada on a British passport. That's what they say. I don't know if they would actually chuck you off the plane. But, um, yeah, so we have to technically get a Canadian passport in order to be able to travel to Canada. They won't accept us on our UK passport. Isn't that insane? I think it is anyway. I don't know if I explained it properly, but uh, it sounds pretty insane to me. Anyway, it's going to take apparently about a year to get a um, certificate of uh, citizenship to replace the one that was stolen from Tamsin years ago. And um, honestly, at my age, life's too short to think about this. So I'm trying here to demonstrate modern watercolour technique, which is in a mon avis, as they say over here, in my opinion, um, it is painting in a direct way onto paper with no prior, uh, um, this, is, this is my definition and um, probably not other people's, but it's my definition. It's my, my modern watercolour. To paint directly without a, a forethought, without planning, without um, deciding beforehand what you're going to do, just deciding when you actually put the paint on the paper, allowing it to tell you where it wants to go, and then to tell you what you need to do next and to have no composition, but to allow it, it to evolve as you go along. That's my definition of modern watercolour, which is, and to also use the paint less, um, less thinly, so more thickly, um, and with less mixing, in palettes so you can if you have a, a set of paints like this you can just use the colors straight from the pans without needing to necessarily mix anything that's not going to be right um so yeah that's 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 what i'm thinking here as i'm and you have to forgive me for rambling on in an inane kind of way because um as i was saying uh, when I was, I didn't, I put up, we put up a video yesterday without any sound. Well, it had sound, but it didn't have any um, speech. And I just painted and a couple of people said, um, oh, that's interesting. You can see the way you're thinking your way through the painting. Um, even though you're not talking, we can see what's going on. And that's the thing, it, it, it's not that easy to paint when you're talking. <laughs> have you noticed this? Uh, we used to have a, when I lived in Bermuda, we used to have a group. Um, we used to meet in people's houses. I'm sure you do this uh, every week. We had the um, art group meeting in different houses and we would sit and chat and paint. And, you know, it's, well, it's all very well, but it doesn't work very well. Chatting is fun, painting is fun, but the two don't necessarily go together. Um, yeah, so anyway, I was thinking about that group the other day, well, this morning actually, not the other day. I was thinking about that and I was thinking about the people, Nancy and Mimi and uh, Susan, um, and, uh, oh, I can't remember her name. Last name was McDonough she in, in, in Bermuda. Lovely, lovely people. I've mentioned this before. I lost touch with everybody because everyone drifts off, escapes from Bermuda. Um, yeah, so I'm having fun here. 
I'm going to have to attend to those flowers to the centers. I think they're more or less dry now, so we'll pop a bit of yellow in there. Um, probably could do, could we do with another yellow flower, do you think? Up here somewhere. Perhaps we'll do some of these with four petals. They've got four? Yeah, it's got four. And then when you've done this, if you want to, of course, you can always embellish it. These ones have got quite dark uh, stem, so we'll go with that. Yeah, embellishment, you can do that. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. I think what do we need now. Um, oh, oh, I know. I was going to put in a purple one down here and to steal some purple from the Meaden set of watercolors. Shall I? Shall I put purple in here? Uh, it's just going to be a, a small ch chive flower. And the thing is, when you've um, done all your flowers, you can always um, embellish them or go over the top of them with pen to change anything you think is wrong. And you can just keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, blue. What about blue? What about blue? There's some blue up here. We've got these little forget-me-nots. There isn't a clean blue in this set, so I'm just going to go with this turquoise colour. And then again, we need, oh, the stems on that are a little bit purpley. <clears throat> so we could mix a little bit of purple in for those stems. Don't worry about Liam outside barking. He's just having fun. And then we've got little leaves. <laughs> and these ones, what have they got? They've got, what, have they got any leaves at all? Uh, yeah, long, thin ones. Not really very much room for leaves in there for that one. And then I think I want to come back in here and just add a little bit of colour there and... Dun -dun 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 -dun. If, um, have you noticed on our uh, Facebook <clears throat> page, group, uh, the private one, Diane Anton Studio Members Group, which you can belong to if you're a paying member of either Patreon or YouTube. 
we have a daily challenge and I put up a, a challenge every single day for people to do and um, it's amazing what people are doing and I can't remember now why I'm saying this. I had a reason. Um, oh well, it'll come back to me. Sorry. Definitely losing it. I have no idea what I was going to say then. Anyway, if you if you join um, the membership on Patreon or uh, thing uh, YouTube, you see this is what happens when you're trying to concentrate on two things at the same time. This is basically what happens. You lose your marbles. Then you can join the private members group and then you can see the challenge and then you can do the challenge each day and post it, uh, your um, pa uh, painting on, on the group and share it with other people and that's great fun. And some people come up with amazing things. Well, everybody actually comes up with amazing things and some of them are just fantastic and uh, people don't realise just how gifted they are, um, but they are What I like about this um, Kiritaki set is that you can just pick up any of the colours and use them. And to my eye, anyway, I must have a, an Art Nouveau eye, um, they all go together, which is really good. This purple here, you see, that is um, that is from the Meaden set, and I wanted a purple, but it's a bit too strong, so I'll try and tone that down a little bit with some... Uh, basically white and I think then to make it look less strong I'll put another one down here using some of that paint and uh, let that dry I was listening to a video earlier today from a lady who was saying what she thinks modern watercolour is, and basically she said modern watercolour is mixed media. Well, I don't agree with that, actually, because if it was if modern watercolour was mixed media, then it would be called modern uh, mixed media, wouldn't it, not watercolour. So modern watercolour, in my opinion, is painting without uh, a great deal of... not with without many layers, without many... Um, emphasis on composition, but more on elements and often completely discontinuous elements. This this one isn't. This one is is kind of um, not. It, it's a modern style, but it's not discontinuous because it makes a bunch of flowers. But it could just as easily have been done completely separated. And there's nothing real about this. I mean, you can see it's a bunch of flowers, but it's not a real. Uh, rendition. It's not realistic, it's just graphic. And I think in the olden days, when I was young, this would have been considered to be much more on the graphic art side, and I mean graphic in the sense of graphic, not graphic, as in the sense of graphic, but graphic as in the sense of which I use the word graphic, if you see what I mean. So there we are, and um, I'm going to keep this one short because um, because because I am, and so I'm going to stop around about now, I think, and I'm just going to put into this some lines and dots because that is meant to be chives, so that gives you the idea of chives. I'm going to put some dots on the centre of these flowers here indicate the stamens in the centre, uh, maybe put a couple of lines here to indicate the leaf veins, not too much, and then I'm going to call that day, I'm going to say have fun, have a go, and um, see what you think, the modern watercolour style. 
and the Art Nouveau palette on Maiden paper. And oh, by the way, nothing wrong with Maiden paper. Go for it. $16 for 20 sheets. And this is nine by seven. So give us a like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and please become a member of Patreon. You know it makes sense. So bye for now, everybody, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.